So we have over here, we're gonna start on the passenger side and um, examine it. I'm gonna start my inspection for the engine compartments on the passenger side. So on this side, on the passenger side, I have my air filter. Air filter, securely mounted, not cracked, not broken, not missing any lug nuts, and secure. Inside my air filter, there's no debris. There's no garbage inside, it's secure. And the wire, there's a wire right here. Wire is secure, not ripped, not frayed, no damage. Air filter. Then we have over here, radiator. Radiator is properly and securely mounted. Not missing any bolt, not missing any lug nuts. It's secure, the hose is secure, not ripped. Not frayed, no cuts, no damages, no leaks. I don't see any leaks, okay? Here we have the radiator pen, secure. Not cracked, not broken, not missing any blades, no obstructions. Radiator pen. Then we're gonna continue here with the AC compressor. AC compressor. Securely mounted, not cracked, not broken, not missing any bolts. The wire is secured, it's not ripped, it's not frayed. The hose is secure, not cracked, not broken, not ripped or frayed. And I don't see any leaks from the hoses. No leaks from the AC compressor. Here's my alternator. Alternator. Properly and securely mounted. Not cracked, not broken not missing any bolts the wire is secure not ripped not free alternator then underneath the alternator we have the water pump water pump securely mounted not cracked not broken the hose is secure not ripped not free no cuts no damages no leaks all the hardware is present and secure there's no leaks, I don't see any leaks coming from my water pump underneath or whatever. So my AC compressor, my alternator, and the water pump, all three of them are belt driven. All three of them are belt driven. They are driven by one belt, here's the belt. Belt, I'm gonna pull it a little bit, belt is not more than three quarter inch of plate. Belt is not more then three quarter inch of plate. The belt is not ripped, not frayed, and it's secure. And on this side, I see also my washer fluid reservoir, proper level between minimum and maximum. Right now we have proper level. The wire is secure, not ripped, not frayed, no cut, no damages. The hose, no rip or frayed, no cut, no damages, not leaking. I don't see any leaks coming from my washer fluid reservoir. The cap is pressing. I it a little bit it's not loose not missing any bolts i see in general all of my hoses they're not ripped they're not afraid no cut no damages i don't hear or see any leaks i mean from my hoses my wires they're not ripped they're not afraid no cut no damages that's it for this side we will continue on the driver's side okay so we have on this side we have the you know we have the cooling reservoir and we have the power steering fluid reservoir. In both, I see the cap. You have to touch the cap. It's not loose and it's not leaking on both. Cap is not loose and not leaking. Proper level between minimum and maximum both. They both have proper level between minimum and maximum. And I don't see any leaks. Here's my hoses for my cooling reservoir, my power steering fluid reservoir, both hoses. I secure, they're not ripped, they're not fray, no damages, no leaks. Cooling reservoir, power steering fluid reservoir. On this side we have the engine oil dis dipstick. Engine oil dipstick and then transmission oil dipstick. If I want to check the engine oil dipstick, the truck must be off, the bus must be off. And for the transmission engine oil dipstick, the truck must be off. To check it, to check it, I would take it out, 
dip it back in, uh, take it out, clean it, dip it back in again, take it out again, and check if it's proper level between minimum and maximum. Now we'll do the same for the transmission oil dipstick. Then we have, inside here we have the air compressor. Air compressor. Air compressor is properly and securely mounted. I don't hear any leaks coming from my air compressor. The hose is secure, not cracked, not broken, no damage, no leaks. All the bolts for the air compressor are secure, they're not loose, they're not missing. Here's my air governor. Air governor, securely attached to the air compressor. Air governor, not cracked, not broken, not leaking. Here are my hoses. Hoses for the air governor, they're not ripped, they're not fray, no damage, no leaks, okay? Air governor and air compressor. Underneath the air compressor, we have the power steering pump. Power steering pump. Securely mounted, not cracked, not broken, not missing any hardware. The hose is securely clamped. This is the hose. Not ripped, no fray, no cuts, no damages, and I do not see any leaks coming from my power steering pump. No leaks. Then here I have my steering column. A steering, I mean, I'm so sorry. This is the steering column. This is the steering gear box. Steering gear box. Not cracked, not broken. I do not see any leak coming from my steering gear box. All the bolts are pressing and secure. They're not loose or missing. The hoses are securely attached. They're not ripped. No fray, no cuts, no damages, no leaks. So three, there are three components that are gear driven, which is the steering gear box, the air compressor, and the power steering pump. All three of them are gear driven. You have to say they are gear driven, all three. So now they take points off. Then over here, we have the steering column Secure at the bottom and secure at the top with the U-bolts, U U-joints. U-joints, they're not cracked, they're not broken, and they properly grease, U-joints. And my steering column is not cracked, not broken, not bent, and it's properly grease. All right, steering column and the U-joints. Then over here we have the frame. Frame, not cracked, not broken, not missing any lug nuts and bolts. No illegal weldings, no illegal holes. My frame is secure. Now we're gonna do the suspension system. Suspension system is the shock absorber, leaf spring hangers, leaf springs, and the U-bolts. Shock absorber secure at the top and secure at the bottom with the lug nuts and bolts. Lug nuts and bolts, not loose, not missing. Shock absorber, not cracked not broken and I do not see any leaks coming from my shock observer. Here's my leaf spring hanger at the front, leaf spring hanger in the back, my leaf springs, this ones, and the U-bolts. All of them, they not cracked, they're not broken, they're not bent, uh, not missing any lug nuts and bolts, and they are all secure. Leaf spring hangers, leaf springs, and the U-bolts all secure now we're gonna do the steering linkage steering linkage is the pitman arm drag link upper control arm lower control arm down here it looks like that one and then the tie rod back here so pitman arm drag link upper control arm lower control arm and my tie rod they not crack they're not broken, they're not bent, they are properly greased, and they are secured with the caster nuts and the cutter pin. Secured with the caster nuts and the cutter pin. Caster nuts and cutter pin, not loose, not messing. Then we have here the brake chamber. Brake chamber, not cracked, not broken. I don't hear any leaks coming from my brake chamber. Lug nuts, pressing and secure, not loose, not missing. 
Here's my brake chamber air hose. Not rip, no fray, no cuts, no damages, no leaks. Brake chamber air hose. Then we have the ABS line or cable right here. ABS line or ABS cable. Not rip, no fray, no cuts, no damages. Then we have the brake chamber. Not cracked, not broken, no damage. And I do not hear any leaks coming from my brake chamber. Here's my push shot and my slack adjuster. Push rod and slack adjuster, not cracked, not broken, not missing any hardware, and can have it more than one inch of plate when the brakes are released. Push rod and slack adjuster, can have it more than one inch of plate when the brakes are released. Inside here we have the brake drums. Brake drums secure, not cracked, not broken, no oil, no debris on top of them. And inside, you see this gap right here? Where is the gap? You see that gap? Yeah. You will look inside, you say something in this gap. I'm looking inside, and I don't see, and I see my brake shoes. Brake shoes cannot be less than one quarter inch of thickness. Brake shoes cannot be less than one quarter inch of thickness. My brake shoes, they're not ripped, not frayed, no damage. The inside of the rim, in the lock, you know, the lock nuts on this side, they're not loose, they're not missing and secure. And the rim is not cracked, it's not broken, it has no damage. The inside of the tire and the outside of the tires, no cuts, no damages, no bubbles. You have to look inside this gap. Uh -huh, so that's the brake shoe, yeah? Inside there, yeah, you okay. see. Uh, brake, the tires cannot be less than 432 of an inch. Front tires cannot be less than 432 of an inch. Front tires, no cuts, no damages. Front tires cannot be recap or regroup. The outside of the tires, no cuts, no damages, no bubbles. Rim cap secure, not cracked, no broken, no damage. The inside of the rim, there is inside the ring cap is the rim. It's not cracked, no broken, no damage, and the other lug nuts should be tight, secure, not loose or missing. Is the hub seal, hub seal secure, not cracked, not broken, no damage. Let me see the cap and no leaks. I do not see any leaks. In my air valve. Where's the air valve? You see the air valve? Yeah, but it's one of the no cut, no damages, no leaks, and I will change the tire pressure with a tire pressure gauge. Tire pressure gauge right here in the back. You say the tire pressure, the proper pressure should be 100 psi. If it's less than 100 psi, you say someone I would tell my instructor to put some air. Oh. It's inside. The muffler, yeah, that's easy. That's my fuse box. Secure, no damage. All the wires, they're not ripped, they're not frayed. Not missing any fuses, and I don't smell any burn coming from the fuse box. And the battery compartment, secure. Not, not missing any batteries. The wires, they're not ripped, they're not frayed. And there's no corrosion coming from the battery compartment. Okay. Lights. My marker lights, reflector okay. lights, and signal lights are all amber in color and properly working. Okay, go ahead. So here we have dual tires. Uh, these tires cannot be less than 232 of an inch. Tires have no cut, no damages, no bubbles. In between the tires, there is no rocks, no debris, no space between the rims. And um, here we have the leaf springs. And we have the leaf spring hangers. If you go in the inside a little. So we have the leaf springs, leaf spring hangers, and inside the, the, the leaf springs in there, we have the U-bolts. They should be secure, not cracked, not broken, not damaged, not missing any lug nuts and bolts. Here we have the brake chamber. Brake chamber is secure, it's not cracked, it's not broken, and it's not leaking. Then inside also we have the brake drums from the inside. So I cannot see, so I cannot check, but I'm gonna mention them. Brake drums, secure, not cracked, not broken. They should be not cracked, not broken, no debris, no oil on top of them. The brake shoes should not be less than one quarter inch of thickness. Not ripped, no fray, no cut, no damages. And the push rod and slack adjuster for the brake, um, for the brake chamber. Push rod and slack adjuster, uh, should, I cannot see, so I cannot reach it, so I cannot check. But it should be secure, not cracked or broken. And they cannot be less than one inch of play when the brakes are released. Push rod and slack adjuster cannot be less than one inch of play when the brakes are released. And then we have over here the 
airbag, airbag secure, no rip, no fray, no cut, no damages, no leaks. Here, back, not missing any lug nuts. Everything secure. More flap secure, not touching the ties, not touching the ground. More flap is not ripped, no fray, no cut, no damages. Outside rim secure, not cracked, no broken, no damage, no legal holes, no legal wall. Stick out. Our rim should be secure, not cracked, no broken, no damage. All the lock nuts should be secure, not loose, not missing. Axle seal secure, not cracked, no broken, no damage, no leaks. Top is present and secure, no loose, not missing. It's just no bubbles. Maybe. Okay. See how the dry shaft over here? Yeah. Dry shaft not cracked, not broken, not bent, and it's properly greased at the U joints. U joints not cracked, not, mo not broken, not missing any hardware. Dry shaft. Okay. Then we have my air tanks right here, one and two. Air tanks are secure, they're not cracked, they're not broken, they're not leaking any air. I don't hear any legs ca air coming from my brake chambers. I mean, air tanks, sorry. Air tanks, two air tanks. Yeah. Air tank hoses are secured, they're not ripped, no fray, no cut, no damages, and I do not hear any leaks coming from my air tanks, two air tanks. The frame is secure, here's the frame. Frame is secure, not cracked, not broken, no legal holes, no legal weldings. All the lug nuts and bolts are present and secure, they're not loose, they're not missing. The floor of the box, secure, not cracked, not broken, no damage, I do not see any holes, and no damage. Yeah. There's the muffler, not cracked, not broken. Muffler is secure. All the lug nuts and bolts are pressing. I do not see any legal walls. I do not see any legal holes. And I do not see any leaks coming from my muffler. Muffler secure. I see all of my hoses and all of my wires. I do not hear see any leaks coming from any of my hoses. And my wires do not rip, do not fray, no cut, no damages. Yes. My seats are all properly secured. I have to go through each one like this. Each one, yeah. Seat and seat belts are secured. 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 Okay, I'm gonna check my emergency exit to see if it's working. working I have uh, one two three four five and that one six emergency exits my triangles are here they are safe and secured I have a fire extinguisher which is fully charged up to date mm -hmm. my first aid kit is over here my fuse my spare fuses are in under here my dashboard is clean and now I'm going to sit on the bike.